What's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing a cleaning video. I picked up these J Crew uh, New Balances on OfferUp. Uh, I picked them up for like super cheap. I picked them up for like 15 bucks and uh, they're pretty dirty and I'm gonna attempt to clean them to see if I can wear them. And even if it doesn't turn out, I mean, I have no idea how it's gonna look, but even if it doesn't work, I mean, I get to sell them for the 15 bucks that I got them for. I've been cleaning sneakers for years now. You know, there's a lot of shoe cleaners out there, you know, like Reshuvenator, Jason Mark, you know, Shoe Magic, Prep Protect. I think the best thing for me has been Dawn dish soap. So today we're kind of gonna do like a comparison video between Dawn and Shoe Magic. All right, the things that we're gonna need is some clean water, some shoe cleaner, some Dawn dish soap, all-purpose brush, soft bristle brush and a suede brush. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little soap, not a whole lot. That's all we need. Next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need our brushes. And then you're gonna kind of blend it in there. And you're gonna make them dance in there, you know? All right. You know, they're in there swimming and shit. Look at that. The first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these laces because these are pretty heavily soiled. All right, laces are out. Now, I keep a shoe tree in mine. It's not something that you have to have, but you know, I just like it because it keeps the shape of the shoe and I can get to all the crevices and cracks. I usually get like an old t-shirt or a rag or whatever and I kinda like, I leave it there kinda just one, to dry things, and two, to like, you know, lean it on its side and things like that, so it doesn't get dirty. And then I have my actual, like, drying rag. Preferably, you should use a microfiber towel. I'm kind of ghetto, and I just use these little hand towels that I have. With suede shoes, you want to take off the most excess water out of the brushes. You just want enough to, uh, to get some, some good, like, lathering in there, you know? And you're gonna want to do it in a circular motion, like that. Now suede naturally bleeds, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's, especially like, you know, color suede and stuff like that. There is gonna be a discoloration kind of, not totally like, you know, terrible, but there will be one. And what you do is when you clean suede, you have to make sure you clean the whole entire shoe. You can't like, just like spot clean it or anything like that. Because if you do spot clean it, one spot's gonna be lighter than the other and it's just gonna look terrible, you know? I don't know why this guy treated these shoes like this though. Maybe to some people, you know, shoes ain't nothing. But to guys like me, you know, and most of you guys out there, you know, we really care about our shoes. You know, so this is just the utmost disrespect, you know? I'm choosing the uh, the soft bristle brush, or it's almost like a toothbrush. I got this. I got this with a with a shoe cleaning kit that was like five bucks. It's like a traveling kit, and I just pretty much bought it for just for the brush alone, you know. It's a Sperry brush. I got it with like a this is the shape of a little shoe, and uh, I got it with a uh, with a little travel kit. I thought the brush really was like you know fine. Like I said, like you can use a toothbrush if you don't have one of these, but. It's really, uh, it feels really nice. And uh, it's soft on all materials. I use it like with the prime knit on like my Adidas and stuff, you know? So we're pretty much done with like that top part, you know, the top treatment. Hopefully it comes out better. I'm still seeing some pretty deep stains in there. But uh, while, you know, the soap sets in, I'm gonna hit up the, the midsole. And with that, I'm gonna use my all-purpose brush. And uh, we're just gonna go to town, you know? I ain't gotta worry about scraping nothing with this bad boy. Like I said, whoever was using these bad boys had no fucking respect for his damn shoes. So we're just trying to clean up this man's mistakes. How do you guys think these are gonna come out? On a scale of one to 10. I mean, they're pretty dirty, so, you know. It's a, it's a 50 50 shot, I guess. What's your guys' opinion? You guys think I'm fucking crazy? You guys think there's no way? Or, uh, are we gonna be able to salvage these bad boys? All right, the Dawn one is done, so we're just gonna let this bad boy dry and see how it uh, see how it turns out. All right, now we're on to the right shoe. So this one right here, we're gonna use sneaker magic. Now, other than them corny dudes who be hounding you at the mall, telling you, hey, yo, let me clean your shoes, let me clean your shoes. 
you go scuff right there, blah, blah, blah. This stuff actually works. Or, or, or I'm under the impression that it does work. I've used it and I like it, you know. Those guys are gonna try to, you know, you tell them, yo, I already got a, a pack and they'll be like, oh, well, do you have the big pack, you know? And they try to get you like a bigger package. But I mean, they're just, they're working on commission, you know, so what are you gonna do? This stuff actually does, it works pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with it. So we're gonna see how it does with these beaters right here because these are pretty beat ups. All right, guys, so we got some fresh water, and now we're gonna give the shoe magic a shot. This middle of the mall shit right here. It says that to uh, put it in, in, on the brush, so we're just gonna put it on the brush like that, and then we're gonna dip it in water, and uh, we're just gonna go to fucking town, you know what I'm saying? So, let's do it. We're right here, I'm cleaning shoes for you guys. I hope you guys watch it. If you don't, it's gonna be kind of disheartening, as they say. You, know, you guys just watch for like a minute and be like, ah, oh, this guy sucks. I don't know about you guys, but I, I really get a kick out of cleaning my shoes. It's like a, it's like, I don't know, I get like relaxed. I just get in the zone and just start unwinding and, you know, just, you know, it feels nice, you know, like it's just you and the damn shoe, you know, the brushing movements and, Oh, that was, that was like my therapy. It's like my cheap therapy. Are you guys into New Balance or are they just like a fad? I don't know, I think they're here to stay. I mean, they have the longevity, they've been around for a while. And you see that huge freaking pimple right there? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this guy did in there. You know, there's a story behind that dot right there. It could have just been a rainy day, but still, there's a story behind that dot, okay? We want answers. We want to know what's going on. Well, now both shoes are clean. They've been both, you know, been treated or whatever. I'm really excited to see, you know, which one's going to be better, which one's going to work out best. The Dawn dish soap or the shoe magic stuff. I want to see if I've been saving money or if I've been selling myself short with the dish soap. We have to let them dry, so they have to dry for at least 24 hours, all right? All right. So, we got the shoes back. To me, they look a little better. They don't look bad. I mean, they're ugly, but... They're not the great in the greatest shape, but to me they look ten times better. You know, I, I put a lot of work into it, a lot of elbow grease into them. You know, I think I think they came out okay. I mean, they're still wearable. The shape is still there, all that other stuff. But you know, obviously there's some still some grime and stuff like that. But this is a three-year-old shoe that was heavily worn. You know, that's just one of the pitfalls that happens when you buy uh, you know secondhand shoes. This is what happens when you're a cheapskate, okay? All right, you're in there with shit like this sometimes. All right, ends up biting you in the ass. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some. Thanks for watching and uh, check you guys out on the next one.